Welcome to Downey Gross Presents, Building Community Through the Arts. My name is Kay Sumner, and I'm the Executive Director of the Downey Gross Cultural Arts Center and the Superintendent of Cultural Arts for the City of Newport News. Here at the Downey Gross Cultural Arts Center, we enjoy a variety of partnerships. One of our most notable partnerships is our relationship with Newport News Public Schools and the private schools here in the region. Youth Art Month with Newport News Public Schools was one of our first partnerships. With me today is Liza Smith from Achievable Dream Academy. Hello, Liza. Hello, Kay. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, you have been fortunate enough to come into the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center and kind of experience the cultural arts. Talk to us a little bit about Achievable Dream's partnership and what you've gotten out of that relationship. Well, Achievable Dream Academy first began coming here in 2010. Um, we brought just five students. They were dancers from our after-school dance program. Mm -hmm. They attended camp that summer. Um, and I've been working down here for about eight years, but never really came in to see what was going on. And I was just amazed at um, all the opportunities that were here for our kids in the surrounding neighborhoods. Um, so from there, we now have 15, 20 kids attending camp every summer. Um, we bring them here to participate in performances, to come see different concerts. We've, they've seen Dance Theater of Harlem here, Latin Ballet of Virginia. Um, every year we have students whose art is also displayed in the gallery. That's right. Yeah. So um, we have a lot of opportunities to come in and enjoy and take part in what goes on at Down and Gross. Liza, as you know, Youth Art Month is kind of a national celebration, but how do you and the students at Achievable Dream prepare for Youth Art Month and the presentation that's here at the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center? To get ready for Youth Art Month, the students are preparing almost from the first week of school in September. Um, they create art based on whatever the Virginia SOLs are, um, and they look forward to having their art displayed. We talk about it monthly. Um, and then as the time grows closer to Youth Art Month, um, we begin to pick which students will have their art selected. Now what's that process like? How do you select? Because you're talking about a whole half a year of artwork. What's, what's that like for you yes. all on the staff side? So for on the staff side, um, they will usually send the art to us, whatever the students have done. Um, sometimes we get to pick. Sometimes the art teacher will pick what her favorites are. Um, it just depends on what the project is. Well, we're really appreciative to you and to Achievable Dream. Tell us about the student experience. What are the things that you're hearing about how much they enjoy being here? They, whether it's their first time performing here or they've been here a dozen times performing, when they see the stage and they walk into the theater or they walk into the dressing room, which is like a professional dressing room with all the lights, it doesn't matter how many times they've been here, they are so thrilled and so excited. Um, I think what's so special for them is that every time we are here to participate in something, we have such great community turnout that they can't believe when they come on that stage how many people are here to see them perform and do what they love to do. Now, do you all get a lot of parental support for the activities that the kids participate in here at Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center? We do. We're amazed at when the dancers come to perform, um, when the students have their artwork. We're always amazed at the turnout. Um, family, extended family, the theater is always packed. Well now, of course, you know our mission here is to truly build community through the arts, so the parental involvement and the involvement is with schools is really important mm -hmm. to us. Now talk to us a little bit about what you do to prepare yourself to be able to be an example to the students as just kind of who they look to as a cultural artist and someone who's immersed in this, air, in this field. Well, I spent my youth and some of my adult life um, dancing professionally and being in the theater. And being able to do this and have an after-school after club where I get to teach the art of dance um, to students who likely wouldn't be able to have that opportunity. Um, so I love being back in the theater. For me, I just love stepping in here and seeing the set design and the music and watching the performances. Here in Newport News, having the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center for the students um, gives them the opportunity to experience dance, music, theater, things here in the Southeast community that they probably wouldn't have an opportunity to do otherwise. 
um, for my students in particular, they look forward to the next performance. They're always asking, when are we gonna do something again? What's going on at Downing Grows? Can we be a part of it? Liza, when the idea of the Nutcracker came about, what went through your mind and how did you begin to prepare as to what would happen on the stage? Well, when Iris came to me with the idea, I was thrilled because the Nutcracker is a classic ballet. Um, I think any child that's ever taken any dance class always imagines themselves being in the Nutcracker in some way. And being on point, and no And being less. on point, yes. yes. So when she came to me, I was so excited. I couldn't wait to go back and tell the dancers that we were going to have this opportunity to take part in this holiday classic. Um, so from there, I, Iris went to Huntington Middle School and talked to them about bringing in some of their students to participate as well. And from there, we started rehearsals. What a nice collaboration between both of those schools, your Achievable Dream in Huntington, right here in the Southeast community to come to Downing Gross yes. and set the stage alive with the holiday classic. That's amazing. It was wonderful. Now, how were you able to get the students to come? There's lots of rehearsals that happen, they, and that has, that's a parental commitment, that's yes. the school's commitment. What was that like for you? Well, we worked at rehearsals because, you know, um, the dancers at Achievable Dream, we have our own schedule of performances that we were getting ready for. So we worked out a schedule, and um, Iris and I split the time. So I came in and did choreography for the pieces, the parts of the Nutcracker that my dancers would be in and we utilized the studio here and then Iris came in and utilized the studio and we just split up the time, made a schedule of when we were going to be dancing and then it all came together. Now the Nutcracker was incredible. Yes. We are so excited to actually feature that every year so that's one of our annual productions. We were able to bring people into the community. Everyone supported it. We had sold out shows. What's next for this wonderful partnership? Well, we have, it's an original play written by Iris Milton called The Gift, and we've started to talk about how our dancers would be able to participate, and we're looking forward to starting choreography, getting some music done, and seeing what happens next. That's incredible. So 2013, we debuted The Nutcracker. 2014, we will debut The Gift, and this partnership continues to be such a joy, and we are so thankful to you and to Achievable Dream and to all the other middle schools right here in the area that participate with us. And we are so grateful to be able to come here. Thank you. Liza, thank you for joining us today and for your commitment to building community through the arts. Thank you for having us, Kay. When we come back, some of our community's rising stars here at the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center. Welcome back. The city of Newport News is home to famous artists like Ella Fitzgerald, and here at the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center, we build community through the arts with artists aspiring to be just as famous as Miss Fitzgerald. Chelsea Van Hook and Michael Lamel are both extraordinary artists from right here in the local area. Thank you both for being here today. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you for having us. Now, Chelsea, we're going to start with you, ladies okay. first. Mm -hmm. Tell us about how you build community through the arts right here at Downing Gross. The Downing Gross has been a great opportunity for me to show my artwork in the community, especially events such as Black History Month and other cultural events that you guys have going on. I always get an opportunity to display my work. Well, thank you so much for sharing your abilities and creativity with us. Now, behind you, there are some special pieces. Right. Tell us a little bit about that artwork that's on display here right now. The, behind you, you have the Nelson Mandela piece, which is promoting really education. I put a special quote from from him on that piece and it's just just a, a tribute piece I did back when he passed so it was just a tribute to Nelson Mandela and his legacy then you have the Barack Obama one of my favorites uh, everyone looks at that one and gets a different view from it um, I like to sit back and just let people look at it and, and get their take from it for me it was showing all three colors of our nation coming together in one piece and showing him as one person not his race not his color just the red white and the blue 
the other piece is my Martin Luther King piece. I had never actually done a piece of Martin Luther King, so I felt the need to do a tribute piece for him recently. Well, thank you. Those are great pieces, and we're excited to have them on display here at Downey Groves. Thank you. Now, Michael, we're going to go to you. Tell us a little bit about your artistic endeavors here at the Downey Groves Cultural Arts Center. I have enjoyed immensely my relationship that I've forged with uh, the Downing Gross Cultural Arts C Center and the city of Newport News. I have been using the facility as a community uh, artist in every possible <laughs> way. The theater, the, uh, the classrooms, I have come to teach some classes for uh, di called director's chair for um, aspiring directors in the community. I have put on theater productions, several here have been a part of it, and more recently starting to film things here at the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center. So I'm, I'm very appreciative that they have opened the doors uh, all the time to me. Now, Michael, you've also been the star of a few productions on this very stage. Tell us a little bit about those and what it means to you to take part in that and, right, and have them on stage right here in the Ella Fitzgerald Theater been uh, an amazing journey that we're continuing on. We've done several productions from local playwrights. Uh, Wickham Avenue, Truth and Freedom, uh, I started, co-starred in that, I played Dory Miller, another famous uh, resident of Newport News who contributed to our advancement of our country and our people, and it's, it, that was great. Uh, one of the star moments, if you will, or highlighted moments for me was playing Nat Turner in a piece that I wrote called Judgment Day. And uh, it's the trial of Nat Turner. And it's a one man piece where I sing and, and I include the audience. And it's a very interesting piece. And I've done it here a few times at Downing Gross and uh, it's always well received and always welcomed here. Definitely well received. We've mm -hmm. done it, I believe, four times, and we've had a packed house each time. So thank yes. you for sharing that with us. Thank you for allowing me to, to share that with you. Chelsea, your work is amazing. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about how you got started creating these masterpieces. Well, I've done art all my life for the most part, just drawing and starting out doodling on paper. I never took classes until my sophomore year in high school. I enrolled in my first class, and I actually started out doing charcoal drawings black and white pencil paper. It wasn't until three years ago I decided I wanted to see more color in my work. I, I actually gotten away from art, got back into it, started painting and taught myself to use oils. Wow, so no formal training? No. That's incredible. What does it mean to you to be able to bring your talent and your skill set to the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center as we endeavor to build community through the arts? Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's more than just showing your work. It's also inspiring to others. With this being a community center, you have kids coming in. They, you know, they know that they can draw a stick man or they can do this and that. And it just inspires others, if nothing else, to share your work and then to be inspi inspiration to someone else. Well, your work is definitely inspirational. Now, Michael, we've talked a lot about what you've done, but what we haven't covered is what it means to you to be a part of the movement here at Downing Gross as we build community through the arts. Um, it means that I am able, as Chelsea said as well, to give some knowledge or some encouragement to someone that is coming behind me. Uh, so often in our society, we talk about how disconnected we are, how uh, we have several problems. In this union or relationship, if you will, that Lamel Group has forged with uh, Down and Gross Cultural Arts Center, we are providing solutions. We are making a way to connect or reconnect with the community at large, and it starts with just one person, mm -hmm. and then two people and three people. Um, there's an old saying, each one teach one. And Down and Gross Cultural Arts Center has provided a has provided an opportunity for us to, for each one to teach one and, and display your craft as, as Chelsea has. And uh, I've always enjoyed her artwork here on display mm -hmm. and uh, looking forward to maybe getting in class <laughs> and teaching me how to do that. Um, but we're, we want an inclusive environment and down in Gross, we all want that in our community, uh, in, in our society, but down in Gross Cultural Arts Center provides that on a consistent basis, and I'm proud to be a part of that. Thank you, we are so happy to have both of you. I can't tell you how incredible it is to have 
two people, and you know, you're just two of many, but two people to be so recognized, and the community wants more of what you have to offer. So thank you for being a part of our efforts to truly build community through the arts. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Now before you go, uh, Michael, we'll start with you. What do you look forward to as we continue to partner? One of the biggest things that uh, I'm moving my career into, I've done several films and television, and now I am more producing. Um, still acting a little bit, but more producing and directing uh, with my company, The Lamel Group, and I want to uh, encourage other filmmakers, up-and-coming filmmakers. There is a large, large, large community, mostly unknown, here in the Tidewater area of filmmakers. We've won several awards. I've won some awards from films that I've produced and, and been a part of, and uh, there is a cry for us to be able to do it on a consistent basis. I'm doing that here at Down and Gross myself, and I'm looking to, again, encourage other filmmakers to come along and do this, even with doing a television show like this. It's amazing, it's exciting, and um, it encourages me, and I hope that my work and you all's work can inspire and encourage others, and, and that we can all join together and do it and be consistent. That's what we're lacking, consistency. Absolutely, absolutely. Chelsea, what about you? What's next for you and our partnership as it relates to art? In the near future, I have lots of artwork waiting to be exhibited, so hopefully I can come in and do my own show at the Cultural Arts Center. Um, maybe I can film it. Okay, that would be a good <laughs> idea. And I will be first in line. Oh, yeah. Great. Partnership. Thanks. Partnership. Yep. Thank you both for being here today and sharing just a little bit about yourselves. I know that it will be inspiring to those who are watching, so thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Coming up next, learn how you can host your own event right here at the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center and register for some classes. Welcome back. Building community through the arts is performances and partnerships, but it's also an opportunity for residents to be right here in this space. Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center provides an opportunity for rentals and facility activities, in addition to a variety of performing arts instruction. With me today are two staff members to talk about these opportunities, facility coordinator Monica Barnes and cultural arts specialist in music Miranda Smith. Now, Monica, tell us all about the opportunities for rentals here in the building. Well, we have several opportunities here at the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center. We have several rooms that are available for rent here at the facility. We have the L. Marion Poe room. We have the Charles Allen boardroom. We have our banquet room, which is our most popular room. We have the Thaddeus Hayes dance studio, as well as other classrooms that are available as well as this wonderful facility right here, the Ella Fitzgerald Theater. We've hosted several events here, for everything from wedding receptions, weddings, banquets, you name it, we've had it here, as well as several concerts. So it's definitely a place for the community and the city at large to come and host their special event. Absolutely, we welcome everyone from the city and from the community to come and enjoy our facility. Thank you. Now, Miranda, talk to us a little bit about programs and activities and instruction that happen here at Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center. Well, in the music program, which is my, where I instruct, uh, we have guitar class and we have voice class for beginner students who are interested in those areas of music. We also have a group called Ella's Pearls. It's an energetic all-girl singing ensemble for girls from ages 10 to 18, and it's under the direction of myself and a local icon, Miss Queen Esther Morrow. And these girls, uh, it's an audition group, and they perform at local city events and as well as in this building. And they perform jazz standards and some uh, popular music. And we named this group after two of Newport News's um, finest singers, Miss uh, Ella Fitzgerald and Miss Pearl Bailey. 
Wow, wonderful. Now, ladies, now both of you are building community through the arts in your particular roles. So thank you very much for all that you do for the Downey Gross Cultural Arts Center. Monica, talk to us a little bit about what goes into the events that happen. What kinds of things happen in the spaces that you mentioned earlier? Well, we rent the space for all types of events. We have our biggest one, biggest ones are our weddings, wedding receptions. We have birthday parties, large celebrations. We even have meetings with community um, organizations, as well as classes, trainings. There are all types of events that we have here at the Cultural Arts Center. Now, if someone wanted to rent a particular space, what would they need to do to get started in that process? Well, initially, they will need to call to check for the date to see if it's available, and also to check if their event fits our facility in terms of size. Then they will need to schedule an appointment to come in, and at that time, they will complete an application and receive any type of information they need regarding the facility, and we will then begin the process and that will solidify their date on our calendar. Yes, absolutely. They will solidify their date at that time and um, we just continue from there. We pride ourselves in quality customer service. So any questions that they may have, we try to take care of it at that time, but they're always welcome to call at any time. Very good. Now, Miranda, you talked about classes and instruction and the uh, Ellis Pearls Ensemble. What would one need to do if they were interested in being a part of the ensemble or interested in receiving private instruction? Uh, for instruction or for our uh, group classes, the best way is to register online. We have a description of each class online on the Newport News website under the ActiveNet. And you can register online um, for Ella's Pearls. Uh, they would need to contact the building, contact me, and then we could set up an audition to see if they would fit the group. And so Ellis Pearls is a, is a group that you are specifically selected for? Yes. And classes, if the online is not an option, how else might they uh, register for classes? They can come to the building and register right here in the building. Miranda, tell us how many youth we have participating in our instructional programs. Well, right now, our dance program is maxed out, which is really great, and we are hoping that um, our music program will start to get that way as well. It is a young program, and we hope to have 100 students. That is fantastic, as we're really, truly building community through the arts. Monica, when someone uh, reserves space here at the Downey Gross Cultural Arts Center, what's included in that? Well, for the rental fee, we will include the tables, the chairs, and the layout of the space in the manner in which the customer would like. We do offer other amenities as well for an additional fee, such as dance floor, drink dispensers, uh, punch fountains, things of that nature. We can definitely accommodate the community at large with those items. Monica, what about decor? Well, we offer the room set up it is our, up to our clientele to decorate the space themselves, and they often get very creative. Now tell us a little bit about the size of events and what the facility can accommodate. For our banquet room, which is our most popular space, we can hold up to about 180 people in a banquet size setting and about 200 people in a theater style setting. That usually does pretty good with the weddings and uh, for the larger banquets that we have. We can also accommodate in our El Marion Poe room about 80 people in a banquet style setting and approximately 130 people in a theater style setting. In the Charles Allen board room, we can offer approximately 18 sometimes up to 30 people in that space, but that one comes with the boardroom table already in place. So we have to make a little special accommodations for events that are over 18 people, but we usually can work around that. With all that, it really is a building that can accommodate the citizens at large in a number of ways. Absolutely. What about catering? Because we know food is important. Yes, it is very important. We are one of the few facilities in the city of Newport News that offers outside catering to come into our facility, which is very budget friendly to our clientele. So we will work with our clientele in any way because we know that is a significant cost savings to the customer. 
Miranda, tell us a little bit about your background and what instruction you're offering here at Downing Gross. Well, my background, I'm a graduate of Shenandoah University. I have a bachelor's in music. Um, I've had great opportunities while I was there um, to travel the world and was under some really talented uh, professors. And one of the reasons that I love to teach is because I've been so inspired by the people who have taken time to teach me and I just want to be able to give that back to um, our city and my specialty is voice so I really love to help um, kids just use their voice and to feel comfortable and um, just gain confidence in that way. So you actually you yourself will provide voice instruction mm -hmm. and to hear you play a little bit of guitar do you also thing. offer that as well? I do yes we have group guitar lessons. And then finally, you are a part of the Ellips Pearls Ensemble, and you really teach them how to hone in on their specific talent. Yes. And that is a growing program. Yes. Ladies, thank you so much for what you do here at Downing Gross. I know that those phones are going to be ringing with facility rentals and registrations for instruction. I appreciate the work that you both do. Thank you. And thank you for watching. You can find all the information on our programs, facility rentals, exhibits, registrations for programs, and so much more on our website at www.downing-gross.org. Or you can call us at 757-247-8950. And I invite you to join me here at the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center, and together we can build community through the arts.